Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Today I got an opportunity to review and test this uh, Electron J1772 extension cable. When I got here, that EV spot was taken by somebody who was plugged in but not charging their car. And this EV spot is kind of weird because, as you can see from the image here, it's actually a disabled spot and an EV parking spot. And I wasn't sure if I was allowed to park there because the sign back there says, you know, there would be a $100 fine if you park here. So I had the 40-foot extension cable, and I figured why not give it a go. Let's have a closer look at the cable. So here we have it plugged into my car, and I've been charging for about an hour. I took some thermal images. I'll kind of pop them around here. And I have absolutely no concerns. Everything working great there. This cable is rated up to 40 amps, which is, I think, 9.6 kilowatts. This charger is a 6.2 kilowatt charger. So that would explain part of why the thermals are totally fine. But even with a 40 amp charger, which I've had an opportunity to mess around with at home, I have no concerns around the thermals. I just haven't done it for an hour or really needed to. I originally picked this up for exactly this kind of situation where the charger is available, but you can't park next to it. And as you can see from the length of this cable, I could park pretty much in quite a few stalls that way, or even some of the stalls back over there behind, and be able to plug into the charger and charge the car. The gun here has this nice little locking hole so you can stick a padlock in there to make it a little bit more inconvenient for somebody to steal it, uh, which you don't want because this thing is fairly expensive. So let's have a more detailed look at the cable. The cord itself is very thick. It is 21.9 millimeters. It has all of this great UL, it has all this great UL certification stuff written on the side of it. So we can have a lot of confidence in the, the cord and cable. The gun itself has this nice dust, water, whatever cap to keep it nice and clean. There is verbiage on here. The specifications on here note that it is only good for 40 amps. I have used this with my 48 amp charger without any issues, but I haven't done it for an extended period of time. And I probably wouldn't given the my general hesitancy to push beyond the ratings for these kind of things. But I haven't, no, again, I haven't noticed any problems. So use it at your own risk. The other side of here is very well built, very sturdy. It does have these bolts that hang out, which I'm not in love with. I wish they'd clean that up a little bit. Uh, it's pretty easy to catch a finger or something else on here because they, they stick out. The, there's a cap on here that locks to keep it water out. Again, this is noted as being rated for 40 amps. Uh, this is where you plug the charge gun from the EVSE into and just kind of clicks in there like you would if you're plugging straight up into the car. There's a boot here that connects the female part of the cord to the cable that helps keep the uh, everything nicely sealed up. Overall, the build quality of this extension cord is very good, very pleased with it. So all in, I am thrilled that I had the foresight to buy this. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of confirmation bias, but either way, it turned out really well this time around. Uh, hopefully you thought that was useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.